Drivers certainly urge to take it easy out there on the roads tonight. CBS 2's Weijia Jiang is one of our exclusive mobile two units on the LIE making her way toward Nassau County. Grace and Christine, take a look. You can see what we are seeing right now. That's their way uh, onto these roads because they want to also try to get as much done as possible before we really get into the thick of the worst of the storm in just a few hours. And as in, uh, Governor Cuomo mentioned just a short time ago, the problem is we're not even there yet and things are already really messy out here on the roads. It's taken us about two hours, two hours from 57th and 10th um, in on the west side from the Baraka Center to Middle Village Queens. Can you imagine what that means? Bumper to bumper traffic in the city and then on the LIE as people try to make it to Long Island. That's where we are trying to head to right now to Nassau County to really see what the roads are going to look like in just a few hours. Again, we are expecting something else and that is why beginning at 11 o'clock, can't stress it enough, roads on Long Island are going to be shut down and it's not just going to be shut down as an inconvenience for drivers, but if you do try to make your way through Anyway, it's going to be a crime, the governor says, with a fine of up to $300 and a misdemeanor. So we really want to get that message out for people to stay off the roads beginning at 11 o'clock. As you can see, people are listening, trying to leave the city as soon as possible. For now, we are live in Mobile 2. Weija Jang, CBS 2 News. Weija, thank you.